finally got a set, the Racecraft 3054 5 bladed 3 inch. Let's go straight into it. Now I'm testing with the Tornado T1 3600 KV, testing on 3S. So these results are not going to be directly comparable to the previous Racecraft 3 inch test because that was on a different motor, but we'll still compare it here against the Rotor X 3040 as kind of our baseline in, in comparison. Now it's kind of hard to judge exactly where this prop is supposed to fall. Like, I can't see uh, what the design specs for this prop are anywhere. There's just, there's uh, nothing in any of the product descriptions that I've run across so far, uh, like what airspeed it's optimized for, or what type of flying or anything like that. And right off the bat, something that's not shown in the, uh, the overall numbers, I was really surprised just how quiet these props were on the bench. Normally you get uh, you know a little bit of vibration and and stuff as the the prop is is loaded up but these were super smooth and super clean sounding so that was really surprising stood out to me compared to uh many of the other props that i do on the overview the weight wise uh it's a bit heavy two grams not super heavy uh and you know you have to expect we've got a lot more material we have a lot more blades compared to the 3040 which is very light um even compared to other three bladed props rpm we hit just about the same actually so the loading on the motor is really not that much different uh from the five blade to the rotor x tri blade so it's certainly not as heavy a load as as you might expect just guessing that it's a five bladed prop pulled only about 290 grams of thrust not too bad we're still doing pretty good so that's a 40 grams down from what we're getting on the 3040. Would have expected a little more from the 5 blade, but the static thrust levels of the 3040 have always been really hard for just about everyone to hit, so that's not really super surprising. Amp draw was pretty nice, only 11 and a half amps, just about 137, 138 watts of peak draw, so only barely, barely higher than what we were getting on the 3040. Unfortunately, due to the lack of thrust, even though our draw is only barely higher, the efficiency suffers a lot, so we're only getting about 219 grams of thrust at 100 watts compared to 246 grams on the 3040. And if we look at just the props performance, you can see that difference of thrust pretty clearly there. Both props loading down the motor the same way. We're hitting the same RPM, uh, but everywhere the five bladed prop not managing to hit the same thrust levels that the uh, 3040 tri blade is. So that means that this prop needs to spin faster to, to the same level of static thrust. And because the RPM we're hitting was basically the same, the thrust of each throttle range basically lines up the same as the uh, the base prop performance as well. So we have this this little uh, this gap in, in thrust through the entire um, throttle range all the way down on, onto the low end. So here at uh, about half throttle, we're looking 86 to 97, so it's about an 11 gram difference down there. And then, you know, we have our, you know, 88 to 15 at the top end there, our 25, 30 grams of, of thrust or so. On the efficiency chart, you can see baseline Rotor X tri blade and uh, losing efficiency on this uh, five bladed prop basically everywhere. But just as in the thrust chart, nothing major to call out here, no crossovers or, uh, you know, better performance on the low end or anything like that. It seems fairly consistent difference between the two. Looking at the efficiency, over the throttle range, as usual in low throttle, um, they are both getting a nice peak in efficiency, uh, and the efficiency actually is very much very similar up until about the lower quarter. That fairly even separation between the two that we saw in the base efficiency graph, uh, you can see they're reflected in over the throttle range as well. So we're on the quad blade down to about two grams per watt, and uh, on the Rotor X we're getting that 2.26 at peak. And then uh, at about half throttle, this is like 2.5, yeah, 2.5 for that, and we're getting like 2.9, um, almost up to, to three grams per watt on the Rotor X 3040. Temperature wise, there isn't really uh, much to say um, on these either, only like two or three uh, degrees uh, per second rise, and they're very similar between the two of them, which you'd expect from the, the load and the amp draw being very close. And finally, looking at the acceler our peak acceleration stats, um, very, very close between the two of these as well. The uh, slightly heavier Racecraft prop 
taking a little bit of a penalty in peak acceleration, only hitting about 540,000 degrees a second, where the uh, the Rotor X hits about 580 or so. So not a massive difference in acceleration between the two, which is kind of nice from all that extra the extra blade and quite a bit more weight. The fact that it's uh, slipping through the air fairly well there. 